Uh, good day all. Just thought I'd uh, just show a bit of what's been going on with my Arduino project with hooking up Bluetooth to a diesel heater. Here I have on the screen my App Inventor design, which is uh, uh, yeah, I don't really like uh, what it's doing, but at least it does actually give me an app which works on Android without too much pain. So that's sort of where it is at the moment. Yeah, it's all very colourful and whatever. But over here, I have the Arduino Do. Here is a little uh, circuit board to implement the transistor multiplexer, which we hooked to the blue wire. You can see the blue wire trailing off over to here, which is hooked into the loom between the controller here, which some people call the iPhone controller. I prefer LED, but anyway, whatever floats your boat. Um, and the other aspect is it's got another serial port on the Arduino Do hooked up down here to a HCO5 Bluetooth module. You can see it's not actually connected to anything at the moment, it's just flashing furiously away there. And over here we have our heater. So, let's um, kick this thing into life with the uh, App Inventor, we can go connect. I'll have to reset this connection first. Uh, connect. Our AI Companion. And that gives us a uh, QR code to scan. So down on my phone here, I can actually open up the companion which is actually running at the moment, let's try and get rid of it let's try that again here we have the option to scan the QR code so we just hold that up to the screen phone reads the code PC starts uploading the code over Wi-Fi and boom There it is, I hope. It's not focusing very well. <laughs> Hooked up to the um, Android apps now running on my phone. So I can actually go click on the Bluetooth icon here. Select the diesel heater as the paired device. This has been previously paired. You can now say it's connected. And it's now displaying info. This is not focusing very well. Now, if we look down to the HCA5 module, we can see now the light's settled down, showing it is connected. If we care to look at the controller here, we can switch to show voltage. 13.9-ish volts. I'm seeing the same here on the phone. Now, here's the magic bit. Press switch on. Click. See the um, lights lit up there, the status light saying it's actually running. And over here, you can probably hear the fan starting to whir on the heater. Down on the phone, we now have some more info about what's going on. The fan voltage is dropping a little bit because we're starting to draw some current and that's just purely due to the cable losses into this uh, module through the standard loom. So you can see the glow plug slowly ramping up to its full voltage around 10 amps. <clears throat> a short while later, after about a minute, the glow plug will start running. While we wait for that, we'll have a look at the um, circuit we used to talk to the blue wire. Now this is lifted straight out of the um, actual heater's design. 
what we have is a pair of MPN and PMP transistors up here the TX enable line is raised high when we want to send data and lowered when we just want to be listening to the line so by raising it high this transistor here gets switched on and allows the transmit data to come out onto the blue wire and the converse happens when it's switched low this line's normally high this transistor gets turned on and the data actually is allowed to flow back into the receiver pin it's all a bit eh, a bit of a funny design but it actually seems to work anyway I can hear the pumps clicking my phone's gone to sleep turn it back on and now we can see the pump is being reported up on the screen now the heater is obviously sitting over here it's not going to go very far because it's got no fuel connected to it and I am inside home so I don't want to be um, filling up a room with carbon monoxide and all that sort of crap so there's the old pump there banging away by itself Thirteen point one voltish. Thirteen point one volts. So if we wait patiently here, oh, here we go. We've got people firing away on the <laughs> new Facebook group. This will eventually time out because it sense there's been no appreciable temperature rise in the body you notice it's only sort of sitting at 27 degrees at the moment and what happens is it'll actually go back to a retry cycle where it backs off for a while tries the glow plug again and then retries again and ultimately will fail after the second time so I've actually added some logic to this uh, Android app to report that the retry is actually taking place. You don't normally see that on an LCD. And likewise, my particular controller does not report if it failed to ignite at all. It just goes back to standby and that's it. Um, yeah, no error gets thrown if it fails to ignite. So here you go, it's just timed out. So we had the ignition retry error message and this message to the left here is actually a message coming out of a heater saying I'm delaying before I retry again. It'll go back to preheat in a short while. You see the current's backed off on the glow plug at the moment. There we go, we're back to preheat. The current is on the way up again on the glow plug. Once again the fuel pump will start once the glow plug's been up to full speed for a little while. The fan increases in RPM as it tries to get the fuel ignited. You'll note that the um, fan is actively regulated in speed all the time. It's, the heat is trying to maintain the right speed on a constant basis. The show tuning parameters actually may as well go down there. This is a bit difficult. Click that. Here you can see the normal tuning parameters for minimum, maximum pump and RPMs for the fan. If we click on edit, we now have an entry screen which we can enter our password. I've just chosen to make it the same as always, 16. Can't see what I'm doing because of <laughs> behind the phone. 1688. Somewhere 
over there. There you go. Okay. And they now change to edit fields. And if we choose to, we can actually go in now and click on the value, type in a new value. And when you're happy with all that, you can hit the apply key and the new values will be sent to the heater. But not in this situation here at the moment because this controller will always be overriding whatever I've tried to do with my Arduino. But if we were to disconnect the controller and the Arduino 100% runs the show, these uh, tuning parameters would take effect. So a bit more logic in the Android app would prevent being able to actually do this editing to avoid confusion. So pumps running again. It gets up to about two and a half hertz I noticed before it backs off. I don't know whether that is exactly half of what the maximum speed is set. I haven't played around there just yet. But it'll run at two and a half for a while and ultimately once again it will fail. So we'll just sit here and watch it for a while. Here we go, it's topped out the speed of the pump. Now this is only the speed it goes to to try to get the thing running in the first place. You note know, the body temperature is slightly coming up and that's just purely due to the heat coming from the glow plug. It's not actually fuel there. There we go. It's given up. So it's gone to ignition failure. We're in the stage where it runs a glow plug after running, which hasn't been running in this case, but anyway, it goes through the same cycle. And ultimately, it'll go through that glow plug cycle, turn off the glow plug, and then go through a cool down and ultimately shut down. So, anyway, that's where things are at.